Anyway, uh, being president is never easy. I still have to fix a broken immigration system, issue veto threats, negotiate with Iran, all while finding time to pray five times a day. Which is strenuous. And it is no wonder that people keep pointing out how the presidency has aged me. I look so old, John Boehner's already invited Netanyahu to speak at my funeral. <laughs> Meanwhile, Michelle hasn't aged today. I ask her what her secret is, she just says, fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> it's aggravating. <laughs> Fact is, though, at this point, my legacy is finally beginning to take shape. The economy is getting better. Nine in ten Americans now have health coverage. Today, thanks to Obamacare, you no longer have to worry about losing your insurance if you lose your job. You're welcome, Senate Democrats. <laughs> now, look, it is true I have not managed to make everybody happy. Six years into my presidency, some people still say I'm arrogant and aloof condescending. Some people are so dumb. No wonder I don't meet with them. And that's not all people say about me. A few weeks ago, Dick Cheney says he thinks I'm the worst president of his lifetime, which is interesting because I think Dick Cheney is the worst president of my lifetime. Quite a coincidence. I mean, everybody's got something to say these days. Mike Huckabee recently said, people shouldn't join our military until a true conservative is elected president. Think about that. It was so outrageous, 47 ayatollahs wrote us a letter trying to explain to Huckabee how our system works. It gets worse. Just this week, Michelle Bachman actually, actually predicted that I would bring about the biblical end of days. Now that's a legacy. That's big. I mean, Lincoln, Washington, they didn't do that. But, you know, I just had to put this stuff aside. I've got to stay focused on my job uh, because for many Americans, this is still a time of deep uncertainty. Uh, for example, I have, a, I have one friend. Just a few weeks ago, she was making millions of dollars a year, and she's now living out of a van in Iowa. Meanwhile, back here in our nation's capital, we're always dealing with new challenges. I'm happy to report that the Secret Service, thanks to some excellent reporting by White House correspondents, uh, they're really focusing on uh, some of the issues that have come up. And they finally figured out a foolproof way to keep people off my lawn. There it is. It works. And it's not just fence jumpers. Some of you know.